Nearly 50,000 tons of sludge at water purification plants contains radioactive cesium from the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. The health ministry says about 1,600 tons is considered too contaminated to be buried. Water purification facilities in eastern and northeastern Japan have been discovering sludge containing cesium. The ministry says 49,000 tons of, tons of such sludge has been found at 14 prefectures, a total of 1,600 tons in five prefectures, including Fukushima and Miyagi, contains 8,000 or more becquerels per kilogram. This sludge exceeds the limits of government guidelines to be buried for disposal. The most contaminated sludge containing 89,700 becquerels per kilogram was discovered at a water treatment facility in Kodiyama City, Fukushima. The ministry says three-fourths of it is being stored at the water treatment plants with no way for disposal. It says more than 54,000 tons has yet to be checked for radioactivity. The ministry plans to continue to study how to rid the radioactive substances. The Sea of Japan coast is enduring some of the heaviest rain on record. Rivers have burst their banks and five people are missing. Weather forecasters say Tokachimachi City in Niigata Prefecture had 120 millimeters of rain per hour on Friday evening. Rising rivers in Sanjo City prompted authorities to issue an evacuation advisory to more than 34,000 households. Gosen City issued an evacuation advisory for 160 households after a river burst its banks. Two houses in Niigata Prefecture have been destroyed by landslides and dozens are flooded. Some municipalities have had more than 400 millimeters of rain since Wednesday. The same amount of rain seven years ago led to the deaths of 15 people. Forecasters say the torrential rain will continue in Niigata and the surrounding prefectures until Saturday. They're urging residents to stay on the alert for floods and landslides. Now to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Operations to decontaminate water were partially suspended on Friday. The plant operator stopped pumping water from the basement of reactor buildings because of a delay in the decontamination process. Tokyo Electric Power, or TEPCO, said on Friday that a waste disposal facility where radioactive water is stored before decontamination is almost full. As a result, uh, TEPCO suspended the transfer of contaminated water to the facility from the plant's number two and three reactor buildings. The utility relies on a wastewater system that decontaminates radioactive water and recycles it and coolant for the reactors. But since a test run on June 17th, the system has been plagued with glitches. It's operating at a capacity below the target of 70%. TEPCO maintains that radioactive water in the buildings is unlikely to overflow. It says the transfer of water will resume in two days. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says it will extract air from the troubled reactors to measure the amount of radioactive substances. The work is part of efforts to curb the amount of radioactivity released into the atmosphere. We want to grasp the situation in the containment vessels by measuring the level of radioactive substances in the air inside them. TEPCO believes up to one billion becquerels of radioactive substances are being released every hour from reactors number one, two, and three. The company calculated the figure from readings of the air around the plant and may not be accurate. The operator plans to extract air inside the containment vessels of the reactors through pipes. The extracted air will then be analyzed by a device set up on the first floor of the reactor buildings. The operation is intended to obtain accurate data on the amount and types of radioactive substances being released. 
The air extraction is expected to begin later on Friday for the number one reactor and in early August for the number two unit. No decision has been made on when to test the number three reactor due to high radiation levels in part of its building. They won't die. In fact, that'll be our motto. They won't die. The Japanese nuclear industry could be facing a second scandal involving an electric company's efforts to influence public debate. Chubu Electric Power Company says it received instructions from the government's nuclear agency to intervene in a government-sponsored symposium in 2007. In a report submitted to the government on Friday, Chubu Electric says the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency requested that it gather participants and have them ask pre-arranged questions at the forum. The utility says it refused NISA's request, but it admits the senior officials of its only nuclear power plant sent emails to employees and visited affiliated companies in an effort to comply with the request. HUB Electric officials said on Friday the firm sent several people to the forum. He apologized, saying this could have led to the misunderstanding that the firm was trying to manipulate public opinion. The revelation comes weeks after a scandal that involved Kyushu Electric Power Company. The firm came under fire for asking employees to post emails in support of the restart of idled nuclear reactors at a government-sponsored meeting for local residents in June. Following the scandal, the industry ministry ordered all nuclear power plant operators to report any activities aimed at winning local support for nuclear power. NISA says it doesn't have enough facts to comment on the issue at this point. Its spokesman said he did attend the forum but doesn't remember issuing any such requests. The Japanese government estimates that the country will face a power supply shortage of around 10 percent next summer if all of its nuclear reactors go offline. A government panel gave the estimate on Friday at a meeting attended by Prime Minister Naoto Kan. All of the reactors could be offline by next spring for safety inspections. Resuming operations could take longer than usual because of the government recently introduced additional safety checks called stress tests. The panel said that if all of the country's reactors are down, the power supply will be about 10 percent short of peak demand in eastern Japan and 8 percent in western Japan. It also estimates that additional fuel costs of around $38 billion will be incurred if utilities make up for the shortage through thermal generation. The panel called for introducing power-saving home appliances and industrial equipment to avoid rolling blackouts or mandatory power cuts. It also stressed the need to promote renewable energy. The government will soon draft a three-year energy plan that is expected to include measures to cope with expected power shortages. It plans to include costs for the measures in a third extra budget for the current fiscal year and a draft budget for next fiscal year. Three kilometers from the city, the Vladimir Ilyich Lenin nuclear power plant, where several thousand people go to work each day. Tonight, the 176 employees of Block 4 have been ordered to carry out a test on a self-fueling system of the reactor, something that could save energy. At 1.23 a.m., the security systems are deactivated and the experiment begins. A series of detonations go off in the core of the reactor. While Pripyat sleeps peacefully, the floor of the plant begins to tremble. ton cover of the reactor suddenly blasts into the air. An ultra-powerful stream of radioactive vapor releases uranium and graphite over hundreds of meters around the plant. From the gaping hole, a spray of fire charged with radioactive particles in fusion shoots a thousand meters into the sky. 